Incredible news, a detailed plan for Gigabay has just been announced, not for Starbase, but in Florida, hinting at SpaceX's ambitious vision for the aerospace hub of the world, and it's likely that related projects will soon follow. In other developments, NASA's controversial DEIA system, which was which has sparked debate over the past few years, is coming to an end under the new administration. Meanwhile, Hubble has made yet another fascinating discovery, adding to the excitement. Let's find out more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Gigabay has been a hot topic since late last year, capturing the attention of many space enthusiasts. First teased in November of 2024, the project gained prominence when SpaceX's engineering recruitment announcement hinted at this monumental new endeavor. At the time, many, including myself, believed that Gigabay would take shape at Starbase, further cementing its place as SpaceX's main production hub. However, the latest update has taken us all by surprise. On the 22nd of January of 2025, SpaceX announced that Gigabay would indeed become a reality, but not at Starbase. Instead, this ambitious project is set to rise in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The planned location, as specified in the latest FAA update, places Gigabay right next to SpaceX's existing Robert Road Starship facility. Specifically, the structure will occupy the northeast corner of the facility, significantly expanding SpaceX's presence in this key aerospace region. Construction is slated to begin on the 1st of April of 2025, with a completion target of August 2nd of 2026. That timeline, spanning a little over a year and four months, aligns with SpaceX's impressive track record of efficient construction. To provide context, Megabay 2, the latest assembly structure at Starbase, took about seven months to build. However, Gigabay is expected to be larger and more advanced, which explains the extended timeline. Additionally, SpaceX will need extra time for land preparation before construction officially begins. If everything proceeds smoothly, Gigabay could be operational by the end of 2026, just in time to support SpaceX's ambitious plans for Starship production and launch operations in Florida. The implications of this project are significant. Gigabay's completion will provide SpaceX with a cutting-edge vertical assembly structure, essential for scaling up Starship production. This is particularly crucial as SpaceX aims to launch up to 44 Starship missions annually from Florida. Furthermore, the facility will likely focus heavily on producing Starship HLS prototypes for NASA's Artemis lunar missions. Combined with the ongoing upgrades to Launch Complex 39A, the addition of Gigabay solidifies Cape Canaveral as a central hub for SpaceX's lunar and deep space ambitions. Now, let's take another step further into the specifics of Gigabay's size and design. According to FAA documents, the structure will stand at a towering height of 388.2 feet, or approximately 118.2 meters, including 8 feet or 2.4 meters for the site elevation and 380 feet or 115.8 meters for the main structure. This surpasses the estimated 100 meter height of Megabay and Megabay 2, providing ample vertical space to accommodate Starship's full stack even as the vehicle evolves into its V3 iteration. In terms of width, Gigabay is expected to outsize its predecessors significantly, potentially measuring 1.5 to 2 times the width of Megabay structures. With Megabay and Megabay 2 estimated at 35 to 50 meters wide, Gigabay could reach widths of 100 to 118 meters. Such dimensions would result in a cube-like structure featuring at least two large doors, enabling the simultaneous processing of multiple Starship and Super Heavy prototypes. Analysts predict that Gigabay could house up to 10 to 15 prototypes at once, facilitating a level of production efficiency never before seen in SpaceX's history. This expanded capacity would allow Gigabay to support the stacking, refurbishment, and equipping of numerous prototypes simultaneously, far exceeding the current capabilities of the high bay and megabay structures at Starbase. With Gigabay fully operational, SpaceX could dramatically accelerate its Starship production pace, setting the stage for an unprecedented launch cadence. Imagine a steady flow of Starships moving in and out of Gigabay, constantly transitioning between the facility and the launch pad, a vision that underscores SpaceX's commitment to making Starship flights as routine as possible. Beyond Gigabay itself, this project may pave the way for additional infrastructure upgrades. For example, a new star factory could emerge in Florida to handle the increased workload generated by Gigabay. This would mark SpaceX's first major step toward replicating its automated rocket production model outside of Starbase further enhancing its ability 
to meet the growing demand for Starship missions. But the excitement doesn't end there. Reports suggest that a similar gigabay structure will eventually be built at Starbase to replace the aging high bay. This second gigabay is expected to match the size and capabilities of its Florida counterpart, ensuring that Starbase remains a vital hub for SpaceX's operations. Together, these facilities will position SpaceX to meet its ambitious goal of conducting up to 400 Starship flights over the next four years, a feat that could revolutionize space access. These developments represent a massive leap forward for SpaceX and the Starship program. As the company continues to scale its operations, the potential applications for Starship, ranging from lunar missions to interplanetary travel, become increasingly tangible. The construction of Gigabay in Florida is more than just a logistical upgrade. It's a bold statement about SpaceX's vision for the future. If you're as excited as I am about SpaceX's latest plans for Gigabay, reply with Giga in the comments to let me know. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you'll always stay updated on SpaceX's incredible journey. Together, let's follow every step of this groundbreaking adventure as humanity takes its next giant leap toward the stars. Now that we've covered the goings-on at SpaceX, let's take a look at how NASA has recently taken a significant step in reshaping its policies. As part of this transition, executive orders have been issued to close offices and terminate programs associated with DEIA initiatives. This development was formally announced via a memo from interim NASA Administrator Janet Petro on January 22nd marking a pivotal moment in the HSE's trajectory. The White House outlined these plans under broader initiatives aimed at ending radical and wasteful government DEI programs and preferencing and initial rescissions of harmful executive orders and actions. These measures are intended to curtail what the administration describes as immense public waste and shameful discrimination. The memo further acknowledges the possibility of subversive actions to circumvent these changes, encouraging employees to report such instances within a 10-day amnesty period. The warning is clear. Failing to report relevant information during this grace period could result in adverse consequences for individuals who neglect to comply. The memo, signed by Janet Petro, specified that all references to DEIA must be removed from NASA's communications and public-facing content by 5 p.m. Eastern on January 22nd. Additionally, agencies were directed to document reductions in the DEIA workforce by January 31st and to submit lists of any contracts or position descriptions modified after the 5th of November of 2024 to obscure connections to DEIA programs. In a statement addressing this transition, Janet Petro emphasized the importance of fostering an inclusive work environment. A big part of this is ensuring an environment where everyone feels included, has a voice, and feels safe to express their opinions, she said. Petro highlighted her mentorship of minorities throughout her career and reaffirmed her commitment to leading the Kennedy Space Center with a focus on diversity and inclusion. However, this decision to end DEIA has ignited significant reactions among NASA employees and potential job applicants, sparking a heated debate on the merits and drawbacks of the initiative. The DEIA initiative has been a polarizing subject over the years. While some argue that it has promoted equity and inclusivity, others contend that it has led to inefficiencies and unnecessary expenditures. As NASA pivots away from DEIA, many anticipate a broader organizational overhaul to align with the new administration's priorities. With Jared Isaacman poised to guide NASA into a new era, the agency seems to be focusing on a return to its core mission of innovation and exploration. This decision raises numerous questions, especially about how NASA will navigate these changes while maintaining its commitment to creating an inclusive workplace. What are your thoughts on the end of DEIA? Share your opinions in the comment section down below as we delve deeper into this topic. And for our last segment of today's episode, there's exciting news from the world of astronomy. The Hubble Space Telescope has once again demonstrated its unparalleled capabilities by providing the most detailed image yet of the Andromeda Galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor. This achievement marks the culmination of a decade-long effort to create a comprehensive portrait of Andromeda, revealing new insights into the structure and history of spiral galaxies. The journey to this discovery began in 2015 when astronomers first stitched together images of Andromeda's northern half using Hubble's high-resolution observations. That initial effort yielded a breathtaking mosaic, capturing 100 million stars and about 1.5 billion pixels. However, the galaxy's southern half remained uncharted territory until now. 
Speaking at the 245th American Astronomical Society, or AAS, press conference in Maryland, Zhuo Chen of the University of Washington announced the completion of this monumental project. By adding images of Andromeda's southern half, astronomers have doubled the scope of the mosaic, now capturing the glow of nearly 200 million stars. This panoramic view represents the largest ever portrait of a galaxy assembled from Hubble's observations, showcasing an unprecedented level of detail. It's like photographing a beach and resolving individual grains of sand, said Chen. This is the first time that we can see such detailed structures for an external galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy, located about 2.5 million light years away, appears six times the diameter of the full moon in the night sky, making it an extensive target for Hubble's pinpoint imaging capabilities. Creating this mosaic required hundreds of individual snapshots, captured over a thousand telescope orbits. The result is a stunning visual masterpiece that not only highlights the galaxy's beauty, but also serves as a crucial scientific tool. The comprehensive portrait of Andromeda will enable astronomers to investigate its tumultuous history, particularly its interactions with smaller satellite galaxies. By analyzing the distribution of stars, their ages, and their elemental compositions, researchers can test competing models of galaxy formation and evolution. These findings may also shed light on the processes that shape spiral galaxies across the universe. Ben Williams of the University of Washington underscored the importance of this achievement, stating, With Hubble, we can get into enormous detail about what's happening on a holistic scale across the entire disk of the galaxy. You can't do that with any other large galaxy. Despite its age, Hubble continues to deliver groundbreaking discoveries that enrich our understanding of the cosmos. While newer telescopes like the James Webb offer complementary capabilities, Hubble remains an indispensable tool for unraveling the mysteries of our universe. The Andromeda Mosaic is a testament to Hubble's enduring legacy and its role in advancing astronomical research. As the telescope faces challenges and uncertainties about its long-term future, its latest achievement serves as a powerful reminder of the immense value it brings to science and humanity. From NASA's transformative policy changes to Hubble's breathtaking discoveries, the journey of space exploration reminds us of the boundless potential of human ingenuity and determination. Every step forward brings us closer to uncovering the mysteries of the universe, proving that our dreams are only limited by how far we dare to reach. Let's continue to share in this excitement, explore the possibilities, and celebrate the milestones shaping the future of space exploration. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey, and until next time, keep looking up and reaching for the stars.